Working on train is a lot, but it's fun. It's really something that attracts me because I'm always doing something different. Like there's no one set role I'm doing for the day. My name is Alice Hills and I've been working with Journey Beyond for two years as a hospitality attendant. My favourite part about working on train is just moving around and not having to check the time. I'm not looking forward to going home or for my shift to end because it just becomes a lifestyle when you're away. Boarding day is the most important of the trip because you're about to embark on a week's journey. When I arrive at the terminal, I'll head into sign-on, say hello to everybody, grab my crew list and all my paperwork and then start the sign-on process, filling out paperwork and then listening to journey manager give his spiel about the trip and all the important information. We'll jump on there, we'll have a great trip and uh, aim for boarding at 11.15 please. Before boarding, there is actually a lot of preparation work that we need to do. Make sure that you and your carriage have everything that you need to get you up and also get you back down. And also making sure that your rooms are up to standard. So a way I like to look at it is I imagine myself as a guest and if I've paid this money, if I'm looking at the room, would I be happy to walk into that? I also like to make sure that my tour booklet is left open so the guests know that when they come into their room, they can read straight through it. Just those little things really help to make their journey all aboard! Working on the trains is different from like other hospitality jobs like cafes and bar works because it is just so diverse in what you do. So you're waitressing food service, you're making drinks and you're making beds and you know sometimes you're doing dishes, sometimes you're doing tours with the guests and kind of being their chaperone for the day. The primary goal would be to create those lasting memories for guests and really make their journey memorable, whether that's through going above and beyond and making sure they get a toothbrush that they forgot for their trip or making sure they liked their bed made the way they liked it and it's just a little bit more comfortable for them because they're away from home as well. In the two years that I've been here, I've had the privilege of working on all different trains. It's so exciting to be working while looking out the window and the scenery is changing every five or ten minutes. On the GAN, you seeing the change in scenery going from Alice Springs where it's dry and you've got that desert and coming out through Catherine up to Darwin and it just turns lush and green and tropical. And then you go to the Nullarbor on the Indian Pacific and seeing that stretch of desert for two days, it's incredible while the days are long. You miss your family, you miss your bed, but you do end up having your own train family as well. So we're all there for the same reason. We're all there to help carry the workload and it can be really quite special. At the end of the trip you feel so accomplished that you've done all this in a week when the guests get off at the end of the trip. Just seeing the smiles on their faces and how thankful they are for your service, that's why I keep doing what I do. If you've got the personality and you've got the charisma and you've got the actual willingness to learn and be there and the want to be there, then we can teach you the rest.